Well, hello, creative birdies. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing a lot better, actually. Everybody in the house is sick, except for me. I had gotten sick last two weeks ago, and then everybody else, husband and um, young teenage, no, not even a teenager, adult daughter is sick. <laughs> Poor kids. Okay, so we're on part two of our inky, what did I call them? Ink flowers and doodles. Now, I know maybe some of you guys can see the flowers, some of you guys can't. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Um, I think it's going to look more like um, coral, under water kind of doodles, but we'll see. This will be my first um, attempt in doing this. I have now a thought in my head, not exact. I'm going to remove that. I have quite a lot of paint near me. I have um, my Deborah Mayo um, color wheel here and our Tim Holtz Tonic Studio glass. I have all my brushes over there. I have paints over here, paints and inks over there. Gesso in front of me. Oh, I should have brought out my pins. Darn it. Okay, let's see. Alcohol. I don't know if some of these inks are going to be reactive. And um, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of talking. Loads of talking. Loads. I like to talk while I art. And I like to art and not know exactly where I'm heading. I love mistakes. And I love just creating for my soul. Basically is what I'm doing. So. I have my white. I wish I had my not so expensive white. Hmm. I'll eventually find it. Some brushes. Let's get going. I have my water right here. My vape, very important to keep me calm. And that's another thing I do. I vape. I take breaks. I talk. I stop what I'm doing. Just in case you don't know my channel. So if you're not into that, there's a perfect channel somewhere on YouTube for you. Just take a search. Look around. Okay, and for those that love me, and I love you guys back, you guys know what I'm about. I just like to mess around, and I like to keep things like this. I'm just going to set out a few colors here. And I always forget to mix my paints. Always forget to mix my paints. Always. Shake them up. I make huge messes. You guys know that. My dogs bark. <laughs> Anyways, it's been um, a really nice day. We're going to mix those two together. I'm not going to make too much of a mess as far as my paints. I'm going to put them back exactly where they go. Because I want to be able to have a kind of cleaner workspace. Put my blues together for sure. Let's see. Let's get started. Let's do something. Let's grab a brush. The choosing of the brush. Let's try this one here. All right, let's find something I can focus on. 
there we go, right here. I'll go in with yellow. It's going to be a lot of circular, semi-circular dry brushing at first. Not perfect circles at all. I think I want to work up that way, maybe, maybe. I can go in all yellow and then mess with more color later if we choose to do it that way. This is just giving me ideas. I guess I'm sticking with the yellow for now. It's going to be very abstract. Could go in so many ways, so many different things I can do here. And then we'll bring in the pins. going to be a lot of doodling around. I'm loving it already. Love it. Now let's continue with what we have on our brush and uh, continue making random things like that. I 
think I want to grab some orange. It's very pretty. It's going to be very busy. Very pretty though. This can lead as if it's coming through and out this way. And then I would like to put some orange coming through so that your eye continues to see that. But we're going to let that dry and we're going to continue um, making marks here. So let's grab some gold. Uh, what would I like to do? Hmm. Maybe some scallops. And then I'll probably go in there with some black in a second. Mm, I don't want to do a lot of covering. Continue. Um, I'm still dry brushing. I haven't wet my brush yet. But I would like to do position it going that way. I want things to go that way, this way, this way. Um, let's grab our yellow. Let me continue down here so that we can position ourselves to go an opposite way. Let's see. split this like that. Very nice. Mixing my blues and my green over here with a little bit of yellow to get like a sea foam color.
I'm not liking what I just did. Okay, let's wipe that away. Um, There. Keep that aside. Okay, maybe what I want to do then is create smaller flowers in here. My brush is falling apart. Definitely, I'm thinking too much, so I'm kind of throwing it off. I shouldn't think so much because I was doing just fine. Let's use a smaller brush. Not that small. I need more options as far as brushes. Okay. Not liking that brush either. go. We'll fix it like that. Perfect. I want to fix that one right there. But I don't want to get rid of my white that's on my brush just yet. So we're going to Use it up. This is going to be far from done. In order for me to do a full painting, it's going to take hours. 
of recording. So instead of doing hours of recording, I'm going to take advantage of um, doing parts. So we'll do parts. Okay. Just taking advantage of the paint. Let's clean this up here. There. Let's clean this one up also. Make some more flowers. And then some orange would look really nice in there. So what I'll do is um, do this in parts, let it sit, I'll stare at it for a while, then um, when I catch the inspiration again, you guys will see the next part. And I'll probably come in with even more color. You know, I'm going to have to put some hot pink somewhere in here. I love it. This is what my brain looks like. Just, oh, I wanted to throw orange in here so that our eyes go that way. That's right. Um, we need to use some black marker, some white marker, some gold. Let's see, I need you guys to continue looking. Perfect. I'm 
in some black in there. Let me finish the orange up in here. Some fuchsia. If I could find any fuchsia paint in my collection, I think I might have some. Definitely need to work on those flowers for sure. 100%. Um, might become one big flower, actually. I wouldn't mind that. Instead of a bunch of little ones, one big flower. Let's do that and let's do. Well. But if I do one big flower in here, I'm going to lose all of that background. Do I want to do that? Hmm. I think I might want to. Okay. So, let me grab... more options as far as brushes. I really do. Let's grab. Let's just use up what I have here. The seafoam color. Start creating our petals. Just shove my finger in paint. And it's okay if we go off. Definitely. my white. This is how I always start my flowers. Very organic. I think I want a fuchsia flower, so let's see if I have... Um, let's see what comes out of this one. Yep, that's probably the color I want to work with. So I'll throw that there. And then some gesso instead of white. Oop. 
darn it, that was too much gesso. Look, I bent my bra my my bottle. Okay. So I'll just grab some and mix it over here. No rhyme or reason for this. You hear one of the dogs snoring. It's very old paint, so it's really, 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 really sticky. Very sticky. Actually, I think I want to add some water. It's really sticky. There we go. There's our base. I'm going to get a lighter pink right now. You know, I'm very um, frugal, so I'll use up whatever I possibly can, bring it up off the brush. I'm even going to grab what's on my fingers and lay it down. To one of my brushes, one of my papers here. 
for the Rolodex that we do together. Those videos will start coming out also. I love the dimension of just playing with flowers and the brush strokes. I'm not looking for a beautiful, perfect flower. I'm just looking to play and create like that. Do you hear her? She's snoring. She feels my relaxation. So she's really relaxed. It's almost done. I will stop when I feel content. there. I think it's so cool looking. All right, we'll stop there. Um, let's grab what I have here. Wipe it randomly on our Rolodex. want to bring this color up into other spaces. Whoa, she's really, really at it, isn't she? I'm very tempted to push some in here. Hmm. No, I don't want it. It's really like that. What happened to the Q-tip? Here it is. I'm just going to wet my Q-tip and take some of that off. I'm thinking that's possibly a sign for me to stop because when I start thinking is when I'm not creating freely and I like to create freely without thinking. 
Just my racking my brain for a second here. Wrecking the brain. I think I want to do some dark in there. Okay, put that here. Just gonna wet my brush. Some of this paint is still wet. It's not accepting the blue. I love putting cobalt blue inside of a teal like this or a sea foam color. It's okay because I can come back. They're not all flowers. They're just doodles. That's why um, in the title it says doodles and flowers. This one here is too wet, but that looks really pretty. I think we'll do the same here, just so that your eye continues up and over. I know some hot pink would look nice in here too. Let's do some blue in here. Needs to be a little drier. Don't forget guys, I have a Patreon page. There's uh, $7 postcards, $8 classes, $20 classes right now. Don't miss out. OK, 
Okay, I want to put some in here, but I understand it needs to dry a little bit more. I get it, but it doesn't make me want to stop from trying. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and how many times have I said that? And then I come right back in. This is gesso. It's not going to show very, very bright, but that's okay. And then I think I'm going to go over all of this yellow we did. I don't mind if the yellow comes through. I want it to. But we're going to go over it with white. And it's going to double line, and I love the double line look. Poor kid. She's, it's not like she's in junior high or high school or elementary. I can't write her a note. And she's got um, her, I think it's her finals tomorrow. Okay, I can't go into that. I can. Yes, we can. Even though there's dots, I'm still going to go over it. We can always come back and put those dots in. They're kind of um, distracting, so it's okay if they go away. We can put them back in in a different way. Just doing lines. Just some lines. We'll figure it all out after. Let's leave it here. Oh, I keep saying that and then I come back in. Okay, I want to figure out what to do here, up here. And something in there maybe but I know I want to use my white pen a lot okay so what I'm gonna do is put this aside that's what it looks like right now I want to put it aside I want to grab all of these paints and do what I do and put them on Rolodex cards there's a whole series on these cards up all of the paints that we have here on the side.
Okay, so look out for the next part, which will be part three. And I'll link down below where it says show more, um, somewhere right down there. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's here. I'm actually stopping right on time because my battery is going to die. So I'm going to continue painting these until the battery dies. Once the battery dies, I'm sorry if I didn't say goodbye. So I'll say goodbye right now. And I'm going to tell you guys that I really, really, really appreciate the time that you guys take out of your life. Our short lives here on Earth just to watch me create. I'm very grateful. Don't forget that I have a Patreon where you can see things that, yeah, <laughs> you're, that are wild and will teach you, actually teach you, teach you step by step on how to do the things that I do. Um, still in a free form format, but more of a direction. Way more of a direction, like 100% more in a direction. Those are the $20 classes. The $7 classes were kind of like uh, in between what we do here on YouTube, but things that I'd rather share to those people that like to invest in in me for the time that I spend here with you guys. So I'm just going to wet this up and the camera will shut off when it wants to shut off. And I'm just going to continue cleaning up all of this paint onto my cards. And making a mess. Okay, it's starting to look like mud. So I will pull away now. Say goodbye. See you later. Thanks a lot. Soft hugs to all of you guys. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.